Okay, I've struck out twice. We've got like two days, give or take, two full days left here in Costa Rica. Um, I'm sure you can tell, and I have to say, I'm kind of bummed as far as the fishing is concerned. You know, you come to a place so abundant with all kinds of wildlife like Costa Rica, and you expect, oh, fishing's gonna be great, there's gonna be all kinds of opportunities, and it's just not really how it's worked out so far, but I think I've learned that through travel fishing in, in various places uh, over the years, that uh, every single place you go, doesn't matter where, it's gonna be tough if you're on your own to figure things out, especially in the short time that you have. So I gotta keep that in mind. Um, not saying I won't find fishing opportunities, but I can't uh, help but feel a little pessimistic at this point. So the other thing is, you know, we're staying at this beautiful place up in the mountains. Um, I can't exactly go out on little fishing excursions by myself and like leave my wife up here. So that's another reason why I've been mostly fishing at the beach. Um, so that she can enjoy the sun and the sand and I can enjoy the surf. Anyway, um, weather's been nice the last few days, so that's something to be happy about. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so I did a little reconnaissance on our last trip into town and I found a couple spots along this river that I think it's okay, or it better be okay, that I just kind of park and fish with my kind of ultralight stuff and see what's up. Um, so I am gonna go out on a little on a little excursion on my own and uh, just hope that everything's okay here at the homestead. But I thought you might like to uh, see what we're dealing with as far as the road to get into this place. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, it wasn't until I came here the first time on my honeymoon like six years ago before I knew that cars, provided they have four wheel drive, can even make it up and down these kind of inclines. What you gotta do besides four wheel drive, when you go down, you'll see you have to go super, super slow and also like pump the brakes. Pump, 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 pump. Anyway, so that'll be the first thing you see. Here's one of the, I don't even know what river this is called, but here's one of the spots I thought looked promising. Maybe this little pool area here, but the first place I want to check out is that way. So I have a, uh, like a Mepsaglia style, ooh, nice hair in there. It's a good sign. Uh, spinner bait on here. Now they do say we get saltwater crocodiles, but I feel like this rocky area wouldn't be great for them. I think this looks promising, eh? We even got like a little little drainage coming in here. Ow! Now, I don't know if this is totally legit, but I figure people can kick me out if I'm not supposed to be here. Let's start right here. Not get wet first thing. Oh, but I gotta go over there. Ugh. All right, made it dry. Here we go. Let's catch our first Costa Rican fish. Not yet. Current is still a little quick. I don't, mm, maybe, maybe we had something there. Gotta be fishing here, right? It's gotta be. Something. Come on. Right over there, I think is a good spot. Oh, that's a tiny fish. Lots of tiny fish, a little fry or whatever. Right over there should be good. Look at that. Slow moving eddy. Come on fish, make it happen. There's a the fish. Yes, so oh, mother. Unbelievable, unbelievable. At least we know they're here. Come on. Guys, damn it. I was walking back. 
well, whatever this thing is, we're gonna keep it, I think. I was walking back to change my lure, and of course, fishing along the way, had just turned the camera off, and we catch one of these guys. Reminds me of like a smallmouth bass. It's not, but okay. First Costa Rican fish, maybe the only Costa Rican fish. Pretty little guy. Yeah, reminds me of um, a couple things. I'm gonna take a picture. Um, I don't know. It's got some elements of like a white perch. I mean, I'm just relating it to stuff we know. Uh, smallmouth bass. I don't know. It's a cool little guy. You know what? I think I will let it go. Okay, so not skunked for the trip. Alright, so our next mission, of course, is to get a whole catch on camera. Damn it! All right, so now my, my reel wants to crap out on me. Come on. So I don't know if it's from getting salt in it yesterday or what, but this reel has completely given up on me. I can't even reel it in. So I have another reel in the car, but it's gonna be very time consuming to switch from 40 pound braid to like six pound mono. And I don't have a lot of time to do this, but this is what we just gonna have to do to be able to fish, so, mother Okay. Oh. I was gonna say, that side tracks us about 15 minutes, but now, my lure is stuck in my backpack. Look at that lobster looking thing. Oh, and that spider. Lots of wildlife around here. All right, hey, maybe that was a blessing in disguise. Might be a fish. That's a, oh, that's a nice one. There we go. It's another one of those things. Little bigger. It's grunting. Could be a kind of, I mean, I don't know. Do grunts spawn in freshwater streams or something? I think I might want to keep this one, you know? You know what, sorry for you catch and cook people, but I um, might wait for something bigger, or I don't know. I'm gonna play it, play it safe. There he goes. Ah! Okay, got a rooster tail on there now. It's a little more visible. A little heavier too. There we go. I think it's just another one of our little friends. Oh, that was actually something different. I had bigger scales. Okay, EPF swim in Costa Rica. The only thing is I'm not gonna be able to cast this very far, but whatever. See if we don't lose it right away. Ugh, it's not gonna cast very far. Eh, not bad. Stuck immediately. A little wildlife for you. It's the lobster again. Okay. I kind of like this spot here, just for the EPF anyway. Yes, different species, different species.
EPF swim. That's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna keep that guy for bait.